There are some challenges with having solar technology at ground level where it's not oriented toward the sun in particular and uh, needing a, a really um, strong protective layer. But you knew those things from the, ch the start and must think this is worth doing because of some exciting opportunities. Can you describe what you hope to see with this technology in the next couple of decades? Yes, uh, this is the question I uh, heard almost every day when I promoted this to audience people. The first reaction is, it's ridiculous. If you put the solar panel on the ground and the people walk on it, and you have those vehicles driving on it, how come it is possible? I think it is possible. Like a, a year ago, we have a much, much less advanced technology than today. At that time, even our team members, they were suspicious whether this is uh, doable. But today, we all get this confidence with more advanced versions. And also our audiences are more like, accepted by, uh, by this idea. I think uh, uh, we are now working on our next generation technology. I'm pretty sure that uh, our next generation will give us much higher conversion rate, much higher electricity productivity, and also more adaptive to the environment, to the landscape. And, and well, what do you want to see it do in, in like the long term? Uh, well, I have a big dream. I want to become uh, the first one to pave most of the Canadians' road surfaces <laughs> with the renewable material that produce clean energy. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> yes, yeah. Wow. Well, it's not my own, it's not this individual, it's not this company alone. We need the whole community to support. We, we all need that. Yes, know. Yeah. 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 All right, well, all, all of us with the Solar Compass team are, are so excited and pleased to be part of this project. Yeah. Uh, th thanks very much for coming, Jason. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.